Number 30. By how much do the critical angles for red and violet light differ in a diamond surrounded by air? All right, so please review number 20 for a discussion on critical angles. So critical angles is going to be, uh, the formula here is going to be equal to the inverse sine of N2 over N1. N2 is basically the index of refraction for that refracted ray, and the N1 is going to be the uh, index of refraction for that incident ray. So uh, we always have to make sure that the, uh, in the index of refraction with the, for the refracted ray <laughs> is less than, uh, I can't even speak, uh, less than the index of refraction for the incident ray. So uh, here they're saying diamond surrounded by air. So what we need is we need the values for the index of refraction of red light and violet light in diamond. They're different. They're both types of light, uh, but they do have different wavelengths and therefore they have different indices of refraction. They differ ever so slightly, as you can see. Uh, also, they will differ slightly in air, but the value in air is so, so close to one, it's really not gonna make a difference, all right? Um, so uh, let's find the critical angle then for the violet. Why don't we do that, okay? So this is gonna be inverse sine of then the uh, index of refraction in air divided by then the index of refraction in violet light for diamond, 2.458. You can also think about it, you have diamonds surrounded by air, so they're saying that the light is starting inside the diamond and traveling into quote unquote air, okay? And that's also why you can uh, organize them in the way we did. Also again, like I said, check out number 20, it should make sense. So inverse sine then, of 1 over 2.458 so it's about 24 degrees all right 24.01 whatever 24.01 degrees for red now all you're going to do literally just get rid of the number on the bottom there and plug in the reds index of refraction so the critical angle there is going to be inverse sine of 1 over 2.410 so that's going to be 24.5 0.52 ish, I guess, and then subtract the difference between the exact values. All right, so take that value, subtract then the smaller one, and we get a difference here of about then, depends on how you want to do the sig figs, uh, 0.509, I guess, 509 degrees. All right, and that's then the difference between the two. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.